four days and our stove insulation has been put on hold but it's supposed to get really cold tonight and will be cold for many many days after so i'm about to light a fire in our stove so that it can have our first fire outside you could do that so that the um smoke like from the paint just kind of can get all the stinkiness out and while it's outside instead of in your house so i'm about to do that here we have it um and i've chopped up some wood so we're gonna and i have a little wood starter and we're gonna put that in there and get the fire going for now we're just using what we have which is some wood that we brought from nashville that's dried out for over a year and then i bought this wood starter so we can just get it going with ease Let me see if I can get this lit and then we will add our tiny pieces of wood. All right, while the fire is burning off the smell, I'm going to install what we're going to use as our, you know, fire shield, if you will. Um, we're just gonna put this galvanized piece of roofing um, on the wall behind it. We don't have any insulation right now, so this is just kind of like to protect the wood studs. Um, eventually we're going to tile it. We're gonna tile the back and underneath it. But for now, that's not our first priority. We just need to get the stove working. So metal is what we're gonna use. I'm gonna go ahead and take that inside and install it. Okay, so we're installing this roof panel. I've cut it so there's a piece that goes over our stand. Can't wait for the stove to be here because it was 72 yesterday and now it's like 40, which is not, I know, that cold, but it is real cold in here. All right, this is our temporary setup. Who knows how long it will be like this, but I just folded that piece down over on the side so that we wouldn't cut ourselves on that. The stove will sit on top of that. Really everything in here is ready for us to install the stove. We have to drill a hole but um, in the roof, but we won't do that until we get all of this assembled up there. I'm about to start assembling and the first thing you do, this is the ring that attaches the insulated pipe at the top, this is what the insulated pipe goes to the roof. You have to put this on first because you have to slide it up everything. So we'll start there. Also, this comes with kind of like picture instructions. There aren't any words. So I am using that to help assemble, figure out how I need to assemble everything. Um, but the part on the inside is pretty simple. Um, before you order your stove, you have to say how high your roof is and how high off the ground your stove is going and all that stuff. And you just order the exact amount of pipe you need. There's really not much measuring once you have all the pieces. It's just kind of assembling it. Okay, so this is where we are. We're just assembling um, the pipes on top of the stove first. So just assembling pipe all the way up as far as it will go inside. Okay, so we have installed three of these flue pipes. These were very hard to put together. I feel like people don't ever talk about that. Um, it was such a pain in the butt. Um, it's double walled, as you see. That's one side. This is the other side. This side. All of that. <laughs> fits in between these two parts. Let's see if I can show you. It goes in the middle here. And it's hard to do that. So just throwing that out there. You 
I mean, you have to do it and it does fit, but it, it was a lot of finagling. There are numbers on here, four to three fourths, four and three fourths to five and one fourths. It has the arrow on the top. That is where I'm going to cut this. So I ended up having to cut it at five and a fourth inch, three fourths an inch, and it fits on it right. I measured this and it's four and three fourths inch, so I don't know what to make of that, but that's where I had to cut it. All right, I have drawn a circle up there. It's a seven inch circle. You can barely see it, but it's up there. And I'm going to cut a hole in the roof from the inside. Um, before I do that, I'm going to attach this fourth piece. I'm going to take this whole thing off and attach it so that when the hole, when I drill the hole, I can just put this whole thing up in there and then down back on here. And then it'll be sticking through the roof and then I'll do the rest of it from the outside. and assembled this top part that I'm going to put through the hole and you actually the instructions tell you to do this like one at a, one piece at a time but it is sprinkling outside so I've got to make sure I get this in the hole pretty quickly so we aren't having rain in our house. There she is and through a hole. Okay guys, the stove is installed. I, still, I have to do one more thing, I'll show you. When it is not sleeting outside, I will give you a little tour of the whole setup and show you what I did outside. But it was sleet, it was raining and it was sleeting. So none of that was videoed. I still have to take these stickers off, um, but I'm gonna slide this all the way to the top. Oh. Um, and it goes all the way up to that piece and then I'll screw it in and then once I take these stickers off, we'll be ready to try to light a fire. Just lit our first fire. Hoping we don't get any smokage in here. Hello friends, uh, I have been waiting to record the rest of this installation video to show you how everything is installed on the stove. Um, we've been trying to wait until the weather got a little better, but it's just been snowing and snowing and it'll melt and then it rains and then it snows again. So I just decided I need to go ahead and do it. Um, there's still icy snow on the ground um, and the roof is covered in snow, but I'm still gonna go ahead and show you what I did up there. First, let's just take a look at this installed part that I showed you on the inside. There's still another part that's not installed at the top. Um, when you put your, you know, cover your ceiling, like when you insulate it and put your inside walling, whatever you put on the wall up there, um, there's another plate that you put, but we have not even insulated yet. So we will do that whenever we have our walls up. One thing I wanted to point out is that this is the smaller stove pipe and it's double walled and that goes all the way up through this bigger pipe. So this bigger pipe is insulated and then this pipe goes all the way up out the roof. Um, this, this, this pipe, the smaller one and the insulated pipe both go through the roof. So in this hole, there you can see those metal a metal piece here and here those are the l brackets that are attached to the insulated pipe 
and then to the top of the roof. And then all the black you're seeing is underneath the boot. So that's just kind of like air space underneath the boot. And then I'll show you up at the top what that looks like. All right, here's the top. All right, this is going to be kind of hard because I'm on a ladder with house shoes. So up here we've got, this is the boot. And I have these um, roof screws that have gone through here. You can't really tell, but I silicone over everything. So there's silicone along the border of the boot, over the screws, up here. It got kind of sloppy. Obviously, I wish it would have been a little neater, but didn't work out that way. I wanted to say a little bit about installing the boot. You know, I had attached everything together inside. So if you don't do that, you know, you get your pipe all installed there are these l brackets and you use those to attach from your roof so it's like a, this and like this this would be attached to your roof and this would be attached to the um insulated pipe that's going through your roof so that's what keeps it in place once you do that that's when you put the boot on so then the boot slides down and you kind of like fit it into the grooves of your roof um, the boot is actually only for a metal roof. So if you have an asphalt roof, there's actually a different um, protocol and I actually don't know what that is. But you kind of fit it over the grooves and then you trace the outside of it. You lift it up off of the metal and then you take your high heat silicone and you put a really thick bead of silicone all around the inside edge of the line you drew. And then you put the boot back on um and then you take roofing screws like self-tapping screws self-drilling so, uh roofing screws mine have like little foamy washers um underneath the screw and you put those in all around i mean you could put a ton of those in to make sure you're sealing that edge and then i took silicone and i went on the outside of that edge and i covered the um screws up with silicone. I haven't seen everyone do that, so I don't know that it's really necessary, but I just wanted to make sure we didn't have any water leaking. And then this is the insulated part coming out of the roof. I actually have another piece that is supposed to come so that I can install it up here because it's actually supposed to be taller than the roof over there. Um, and then I'll just, I'll just take off this top grate, put that piece on and then put the grate on when it's up at the top. Uh, but yeah this has these screws that it came with that there's three it goes around and um yeah this is the top i did end up ordering the um little tools that are the right size for the cubic mini i ordered those from cubic mini because they do not make anybody really make tools this small for your stove and like this little tiny shovel is a perfect size and you can't the ones that they make for regular wood stoves are just so much bigger so this was definitely a necessity i definitely have used all of these i'll use this maybe every other fire to get the ash out this is great to just poke things around um these are great to grab wood but i would say i don't use these as much as the other two sometimes i just grab um the wood with my hand like not wood that's on fire but just wood that you're putting in there um and so those are kind of a little awkward the other two parts work really well and i do like having them all right so that is our cubic mini wood stove installation installing the top was actually pretty simple i think all the prep work um inside the house and cutting the hole was kind of the biggest situation i would say it was actually relatively easy to install it but I did do a ton of research before um, we even ordered it. I watched so many videos, so I was very prepared for what I needed to do to install this. There are some other accessories we bought to help us with the fires. Um, we got a thermometer that just sits on the top, and then we got a fan that just runs off of heat, which if you've seen anyone use a wood stove everyone has one of those i will link the stove that we have in our description and i'll link all the stuff that we um got extra 
to use to make it more efficient. If you have any questions about the Cubic Mini uh, wood stove, we have the Grizzly. Just leave any questions below. Also, if you aren't already a subscriber, um, we'd love to have you subscribe. We post a lot of content about building our off-grid homestead from the ground up and just kind of all the things that that entails. And, and when we find good information, um, and have to do a lot of research or have find frustrating things out we definitely will tell you about it so definitely give us a follow if you want to see more content like that thanks so much for watching guys bye